Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. sound like D-Day. <laughs> Do they ever get dangerous? Only if you stand in one place. <laughs> Come on, boy. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Now! Oh. <laughs> Sets are in section E. Thank Attention, you. please. Handbags, cover seven, half price. Section E is? No, I was just walking all this deep when I got swept in here by the mob. <laughs> what gets into these people? It's these once a year sales. They go bargain crazy. Well, it's just ridiculous to get so excited over a little discount. I Attention, you. please. Counter five, 60% off on all those wonderful.
this one. I'll take it. Oh, dear, that one. Oh, I should have warned you. What about? What's wrong with it? Well, well, nothing's wrong with it, but a very important customer named Mrs. Walker wanted me to hold it while she checked with her decorator, and she's coming back any minute. Oh, but I don't see any hold tag on it. Uh, did she Did she leave a deposit? No, she didn't. Well, then it's mine. No hold, it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I had to... Oh, Miss Marie. Mrs. Walker. Uh, Good news, Miss Murray. My decorator says I can have the dinette set. And... Mrs. Walker, I'm afraid we have a conflict. Over what? Over me. <laughs> you! Get off my table! Not your table, it's my table. Your table? Miss Murray, did I or did I not tell you to put a hold on that table? Well, yes, you did, Mrs. Walker, but you didn't leave Quiet. it in Quiet! I not only happen to be a close friend of the owner of this store, but I'm also a very large stockholder. You can say that again. <laughs> Someone told off that bargain basement bully. Oh, now, is this a cash or a charge? I'll write a check. But go easy on the tax or I'll never make it. <laughs> now, let's see. All together, that comes to 99 in tax. $102.96. What? 100 and... Uh, how does it do that? Well, you see right here. Uh, for the dining room set, it's, it's $99 plus the tax. Oh, no, no, no. It's $66. <laughs> Unless... I looked at it upside down. Ninety-nine. Oh, dear, my beautiful dinette set. After all this, I'm going to lose it out of technicality. Oh, dear, I am in trouble. You're in trouble? Yes, when Mrs. Walker starts throwing her weight around and then they find out I didn't sell you the set after all. Oh, brother. You mean you might lose your job? Oh, now, look, I'll get the money somehow. If I give you $50 down, uh, could, can you hold the set for a week until I give you the rest? Well, yes. Oh, good. Then I'll write you a check for $50. Oh, thank you. My name is Lucille Carmichael. Lucille Carmichael. Oh, thank you, Miss Carmichael. And I do hope you can get the rest of the money for the set. Oh, so do I. Right now, it owns more of me than I do of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mooney. <laughs> well, Mrs. Carmichael, what an exhilarating surprise. How nice of you to stop by on your day off. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And may I take this opportunity to compliment you on the taste and unaffected elegance of your attire? Why, Mr. Mooney, how very sweet of you. You never noticed my clothes before. Oh, I always notice what you're wearing when you come in to con me out of money. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney, how can you be so aggravating? I take nasty pills. <laughs> now, this time I need the money for a very unusual emergency. Mrs. Carmichael, you have told me so many wild stories about unusual emergencies that I find it difficult to believe anything you say. Well, now, this is the truth. Stacy's department store is having a big, big sale. And, and, and I bought a dinette set that cost $66, but it turned out to be $99 because I was upside down. <laughs> that I believe. <laughs> A check for half, and, and and they're holding the set for a week, and I've got to get the rest of the money, and I, or I'll lose the set and the fifty dollars. All right, Mrs. Carmichael, I'm fully prepared to give you an answer to your need. You mean you'll give me the money? No, just an answer. <laughs> get a job and work for it. A job? Yes, yes. How could I get a job when I work part time for you right here at the bank? Well, get another part-time job. Moonlight. The <laughs> <laughs> store is having a big sale. Well, they'll need extra help. Oh, I don't know if I can get a job there, for heaven's sake. With a sale going on, everything's so mixed up and confused, it's a madhouse. Well, you should certainly find a place for yourself. <laughs> oh, 
Mr. Mooney! Now, look. Either you get a job or you lose the dinette set and deposit by default. Now, it's up to you. I'm a very busy man. Goodbye. Don't you ever take nice pills. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Carmichael. Maybe you'll work out better in this department. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Collins. I don't know why I fail in the shoe department. I'll tell you why. Because when a woman wants a size 5 shoe, you don't try to prove she wears a size 9. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the customer is always right. All right. Well, I, I, I didn't really like the shoe department. I was much happier in the perfume department. I'm sure you were. You spent most of your time there ignoring the customers and sniffing the bottles. <laughs> You were put in the perfume department to sell, not to smell. <laughs> now then, I hope you do better in here. Yes, sir, I'll try. Just remember, the customer is always right. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh may, I, may I show you something, madam? Yes, uh, I'd like a cocktail uh, hat. I'm going to a cocktail party this evening. Oh, yes, I have the perfect cocktail hat for you right here. I would never wear that to a cocktail party. Oh, that's what I said. It's a very bad hat for a cocktail party. <laughs> so what about that one next to it? Right there? here? No, no, the black one, the pillbox. Oh, the pillbox. Yes. Oh, a very, very smart selection, madam. Shall we try it on? Thank you, please. Uh, yes, please, ma miss, be careful. <laughs> uh, are you sure that'll stay on? Well, uh, we'll make sure it does. <laughs> We'll just put a pin in there, and it's also a very decorative pin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, oh, madame, that is so beautiful. This hat is really you. You couldn't have made a better selection. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll... <laughs> this one. Oh, would you put it on for me, please? Uh, oh, madam, you wouldn't want to take this off. Oh, oh, you just couldn't take it off. It's so perfect for you. Why, in my whole career, I, I have never seen a hat do so much for a person. But I... In fact, I bet the designer made this especially for you uh, or Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> really? Really? Yes. Well, I do look a bit like Liz. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do, madam. Only prettier. Oh. Now, will oh. this be cash or charge? Well, I, I, uh, a charge. All oh, right. Oh. There we are. Yeah. Uh, um, be sure to put it in a good box. Oh, madame, you wouldn't want to take it off. <laughs> if you do that, how would anyone know that you look so much like Elizabeth Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll wear it home. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I only hope you don't run into Richard Burton. It would confuse the poor man so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just look divine. Oh. Just divine. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're ravishing. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> right over here. Oh, miss, would you help me with this customer? Yes, please? of course. Uh, bring over those hat pins. Yes, ma'am. Right here you are now. We put the bow there. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's just divine. <laughs> you again? I thought you were a customer. I am. I mean, I was. I, I mean, I work here now. Oh, the help we have nowadays. You've been haunting me all day. What are you doing in this department, anyway? Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Walker. I just go where they tell me to. Oh, if I could depend on that, I'd really tell you where to go. <laughs> Mr. Collins! Oh, no. Mr. Collins! Not Come Mr. Here. Collins again! Oh, dear. Mrs. Carmichael, may I inform you that the sporting goods department is your very last chance to make good. Now, look, Mr. Collins, I don't know anything about sporting goods. Can I try some other department? In the teenage department, when two boys came in asking for records, you tried to sell them ribbons. 
Well, their hair was so long, I thought they were girls. Now, come with me. We'll see that you get suitably attired. For what? Well, the personnel in this department always dress in sports outfits to give the place a proper atmosphere. Oh. You see, these young ladies here, they're demonstrating tennis and ski equipment. Oh, they look beautiful. Well, what'll I wear? No, oh, we'll try to find something that fits your personality. <laughs> like that tennis outfit. Why did I have to wear this? You never know when someone might want a hostess for a live bait barge. <laughs> oh, may I help you? Sir? Uh, why, yes. Uh, my little boy has been hounding me for some things for his birthday, and, well, I just wanted to make sure he can handle them before I buy. Well, that's a very smart decision. What does your boy want? Well, first of all, a pogo stick. A pogo stick? Yes. Carmichael? What? Demonstrate a pogo stick for the gentleman. Demonstrate a, 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 a pogo stick? Pogo stick. A po uh, 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 one of these? Yes. Uh, 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 you see, your, your little boy will become an expert in no time at all. What else does he want? Yeah, a pair of stilts. <laughs> oh, oh, are they very hard to use? Uh, no, no, no. The stilts are very simple. I, I can even do the Watusi on stilts. Just demonstrate the stilts. Leave the dancing to Fred Astaire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are the stilts, sir? Stilts. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stilts, uh, stilts are very nice for a boy. <laughs> when you live in Los Angeles, because on a clear day, you can see Catalina. <laughs> oh, you know something? I can even ride on a skateboard on stilts. No, Mrs. Carmichael! Oh, I was just going to show him how to use the stilts the hard way. Well, never mind, never mind. Give me those stilts. All right. Oh, sir, uh, how about a basketball? My, every boy should... Have a basketball. He's got a basketball. Oh. Now, haven't you got anything new and interesting? Well, yes, we do have a wonderful new item that just came to the store today. Hi, Michael. Yes. Come with me. Yes, sir. I think you'll have a very happy birthday. Oh, yes. Would you like me to deliver them today? Oh, no. His birthday's not for six months. I just came in today for a ping pong ball. <laughs> a ping pong ball? That's what the gentleman said. A ping pong ball. Would you like a gift wrapped or do you want to bounce at home? <laughs> deliver it. <laughs> You've just lost a customer. I just lost eight pounds. The nerve of that guy. Can't you remember? The customer is always right. Always right. Mr. Collins, you're wanted in your office immediately. Customer is always right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, may I help you, sir? 
Oh, yes, miss. I'm leaving on an extended vacation Thursday, and I'll need this list of equipment. Oh, all right. All of that? Yes, my first vacation in 10 years, and my <laughs> wife and I are going to make the most of it. Oh, good, good. Well, you just tell me what you want, and I'm at your service. Well, first of all, I'd like to see what you have in fishing equipment. Fishing equipment. Yes, fishing equipment. Yes, yes, we have nice fishing equipment. Oh, well, this looks like a nice rod. Uh-huh, that's a beauty. <laughs> Does it uh, cast well? Uh, uh, oh, it casts uh, like crazy. Would you uh, mind demonstrating it for me? Uh, demonstrating it, yeah. Uh, demonstrating. Yes, I'd like to see how it is for distance. Oh, for distance. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I figure you can get quite a distance uh, on a little uh, pole like this. I'll get good distance here now. Oh, that's a splendid cast. Ah, yeah. Oh, by George, I think I caught something. Hello, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> having a sale, but do you have to drag customers off the street? Sorry, Mr. Mooney. Why, Theodore, I thought that was you. Vernon, well... You two know each other? Well, certainly, he handles all my financial affairs. Well, you've just hooked the biggest banker in the city. Oh, uh -huh, you should have seen the one that got away. <laughs> Get your hands off that! Uh, uh, did you come in to see me, Mr. Mooney? No. You'll never believe this, but I came in here to do some shopping. Oh, well, would you would you care to browse around until I finish with this gentleman? Oh, well, yes, I, I'll see you, Vernon. There's something right. in this other department All I All right, need. now, what else was it, sir? Well, now, let's see. Skin diving equipment, swim fins, wetsuits, masks, spear guns, snorkels, and everything. The whole uh, uh, swim diving, everything for, for that, huh? Well, uh, I'll be right back, sir. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Vernon? Oh, yes, miss. Are you getting everything? Oh, yes, yes, dear, and the service is excellent. Well, thank heaven for that. I have been through the most terrifying experiences today. <laughs> well, I see you've got everything. Yes, I think so. I think more. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, not you again. Get her away from me! Get who away from you? Well, I don't know what her name is, but I think it's Typhoid Mary. Oh, Mr. Collins! Oh, Mr. Collins! Please, Mrs. Walker, don't call Mr. Collins, not again! What's going on? <laughs> Mr. Collins, I will not have her waiting on me. I will not remain in the same place with this uh, creature! <laughs> oh, you're being very moody, pussycat. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, I'll attend to you later. Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Walker. What can I do for you, Mr. Mooney? Well, now, I'm, oh, I need a handball. One handball. One handball, yes, yes. All right, I'll find a handball for you. Yes, I have uh, Where are the handballs? Uh, Did you see them oh, around yes, here? Oh, yes, yes, here they are, here, right up there. Huh? There they are, yeah, there they are. Oh, uh, we'll have to get a ladder. There uh, must be a step somewhere around here. Oh, wait, I know what I'll okay. do. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael! Yes, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no. all right. Back up. Back up. Oh, back up. oh care careful, careful. I'm, I'm, I'll get oh, him. Don't oh, worry. I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, 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 I don't, I'm not so, I, oh, I, um, can I be a, uh, um, just now. <laughs> Oh, I 
Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. sound like D-Day. Do they ever get dangerous? Only if you stand in one place. <laughs> Come on, boy. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Now! Oh. <laughs> Sets are in section E. Thanks. Attention, please. Handbags, cover seven, half price. 